Hello friends, this video on NEAT Human Health and Diseases is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 45. Monascus purpureus is a yeast used commercially in the production of ethanol, streptokinase for removing clots from blood vessels, citric acid, blood cholesterol lowering stains. So Monascus purpureus, it is a species of mold. So this is a species of mold which is purplish red in color and it produces cholesterol lowering statins so that is why it is used here so option d is correct now how, how is it helpful in the manufacture of various medicines because it can produce statins which can help to lower cholesterol so therefore the medicines which are used to lower cholesterol in those medicines it ha it finds very useful application now there are many alternate names for uh, this particular yeast and that is rice kernel discoloration. In fact white rice is fermented with this mold and that's how we get red yeast rice. So white rice when fermented with this mold becomes red yeast rice. Question number 46. A nitrogen fixing microbe associated with azola in rice fields is spirulina, anabina, frankia and tolipothrix. So this is the very famous association that is azola anabina association. So obviously option B is correct. So what kind of association is this? So azola is a fern which is purposely grown in the rice fields because azola has the capability to keep these anibina that is nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria. So anibina is nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria. So these anibina they live in the leaves of this azola fern. So and this uh, cyanobacteria are capable of fixing nitrogen. So in the rice fields when you grow these fern azola which automatically have anibina which can fix the nitrogen into the soil. So this basically enriches the soil with nitrogen which is of great importance to agriculture. Question number 47. An organism used as a biofertilizer for raising soya bean crop is azospirillum rhizobium nostoc azotobacter. So soya bean is a leguminous plant. Now in legumes, if you talk about biofertilizer, so one of the best uh, biofertilizer for legumes is the nitrogen fixing bacteria which are present in the root nodules of legumes and that is rhizobium. So rhizobium forms nodules in the roots of leguminous plants. They fix atmospheric nitrogen and nitrogen as we all know is a macronutrient for plant growth. Question number 48. The most common substrate used in distilleries for the production of ethanol is soya meal, ground gram, molasses, corn meal. So molasses acts as the base material for fermentation into rum. So molasses would be the right option. Now sometimes molasses is fermented to produce ethanol as well which is uh, uh, also used as an alternative fuel in motor vehicle. So <coughs> So molasses basically is a byproduct of refining sugar cane or sugar beet into sugar. So when sugar cane or sugar beet gets converted to sugar, during this process there is a byproduct and that byproduct is molasses. Question number 49. Organos, organisms called methanogens are most abundant in a cattle yard polluted stream hot spring sulfur rock. Now what are methanogens first of all? So methanogens are methane producing bacteria. And we find them, anyways we find them in a lot of places but we find them very abundantly in the rumen of cattle. That is, a, rumen is the part of the digestive system of the cattle and we, because these bacteria they play a very important role in the digestion process in cattle. Now therefore we see them abundantly in the cattle yard. Question number 50. The common nitrogen fixer in paddy fields is rhizobium, azospirillum, oscillatoria, frankia. 
so which is used as a nitrogen fixer in paddy fields so the correct option is azospirillum so if you talk about rhizobium it is present in the root nodules of leguminous plants so paddy fields obviously they do not fall under the category of legumes so a is not the correct option if you talk about frankia so frankia they are seen in the root nodules of non legumes so again uh, in paddy fields we do not have any nitrogen fixer in the root nodules so frankia also is not the right option now if you consider uh, oscillatoria it is a cyanobacterium which is known as oscillatoria for its oscillatory movement right uh, so however it is not known for uh, nitrogen fixation in paddy field so the correct option is azospirillum however the most active nitrogen fixer of rice fields is olocera fertilizima so this is just for your information so this is a cyanobacteria and this is the most active nitrogen fixer of rice fields Question number fifty one. Select the correct statement from the following. Biogas is produced by the activity of aerobic bacteria on animal waste. So, do you think this is correct? No, this is incorrect. Why? Because it it is not by the activity of aerobic bacteria, but by the activity of an an aerobic bacteria. So, this statement is not correct. option b methanobacterium is an aerobic bacterium found in rumen of cattle so we were just talking about the methanogens the methane producing bacteria but again unfortunately they are not aerobic bacteria instead they are anaerobic bacteria anaerobic means they do not need oxygen for their uh, for their survival process so this is also incorrect biogas commonly called gober gas is pure methane so this is also incorrect because it is not pure methane instead it is a mixture of several gases like methane plus carbon dioxide plus hydrogen sulfide activated sludge sediment in settlement tanks of sewage treatment plant is a right source of aerobic bacteria well this one is correct because some part of this activated sludge is pumped back to the aeration tank and the remaining part is sent to the anaerobic sludge digesters so in the anaerobic sludge digesters the anaerobic bacteria digest the bacteria and fungi which remain in that sludge so basically in that activated sludge you do have a good number of aerobic bacteria so option d is the correct statement question number 52 The bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis is widely used in contemporary biology as a indicator of water pollution, insecticide, agent for production of dairy products, source of industrial enzymes. So Bacillus thuringiensis which is often written as Bt it is used as an excellent insecticide. So this is the correct option. Now why is it is used as insecticide because the spores of this bacterium produce the insecticidal cry protein so this is a protein which has insecticidal properties that means it has the capability to kill harmful insects so spore of bacteria can kill larvae of a lot of insects so therefore it acts as an insecticide question number 53 thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you